<laughs> Knock it off the edge. <laughs> yeah. And I think the oh, op- shit. I think the opening shot of that is actually pretty good. It maybe it goes on for a little too long, but I think overall it's actually pretty good. And I, I really like the dialogue that I put with it. I think I said a good scene. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of um, I can't I can't remember his full name, but the the, the Noah YouTuber, how he like intros his videos with like old timey like equipment or something. You remember, uh, you remember that Resident the Resident Evil like retrospective thing? It's like eight hours long. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen like some, all of it. I've seen some of his, some of his videos, but I haven't watched that because, boy, that's a beast of a video. I think it, I think I, I skipped around, but I think I watched uh, the majority of it. But it's kind of similar. Like he he always opens up with like either like playing like an eight track, like a, like a song off of an eight track, and like looking at you know, it's kind of cool. Yeah. Oh, I found the invisibility. Wait, can can you see me? See me? Like just well? like. Yeah, I'm, I mean you're invisible, but you have that kind of like transparent like. I, mean, I I can still like notice you sort of thing. Okay, so I, I didn't know how well that would work during a multiplayer game or co-op game or whatever. So I was curious. I think we're going to have our first run-in with Hunters here in just a little bit. Hunters are fascinating. It's, uh, they're big motherfuckers, and they ain't easy to kill. But it's actually, like, quite a few beings all in one body, because it's like a colony of worms inhabiting, like, armor. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Are they, are they hard? Yes, hunters are very, oh, no, very are. hard. Shit. Oh, God, no. I don't know if you watched that Final Fantasy VII video or not. I don't know. It's asking yeah, a watched, lot to, yeah. for people. I, mean, I watched up. Yeah, I mean, I didn't watch any of the spoiler parts, but yeah, I did. I did watch uh, portions of it. The vast majo- the majority of it is the spoiler parts because yeah, exactly. really the big focus is uh, on discussing the story and how the two different versions are similar and different and what's new and what's not things like that. Yeah. Shit! I need a new weapon. Damn. That was fun. <laughs> so, so what the needler does is it sticks you with these little pink things. And they multiply. And when you get enough of them multiplying, they explode. Yeah, it's kind of cool. These like, are the oh, hunters. Oh, oh okay, okay. And these motherfuckers pack... Like if he gets you on that stand, you're fucking dead. They they, oh, they oh, fuck that. <laughs> they hit like a fucking truck. I'm trying to stick a grenade on one of them.
Okay. Okay, just stick. One of okay. That, that, one of them got can, me. I got my grenade like stuck in midair, and I think I think that grenade killed you. It's fucking dumb. Like I mean, actually, I hit it on him, but like it didn't stick to him. It just it like levitated in midair, like where he stood. For oh some boy, glitches. That's always yeah, fun. really. What, no, I, stay away from me. Ideally, what you want to do is try to shoot them in the back. Oh, okay. That's their weak spot, but getting around behind them can be a pain. There we go. There we got. We got. Him. Okay. All right. So let's go up um, on the uh, Covenant ship. I'm not entirely sure what else I can use that uh, old camera for, but I just like camera. I just like playing with cameras and shooting shit, you know? Yeah. Oh, we're waiting for Marines. To I was wondering why the fuck we weren't going up. All right, let's go. Belly of the Beast. And I, I just bought a copy of that not too long ago on uh, uh, tape. Oh, uh, Persistence? Yeah, Persistence of Time. God, yeah. that is a good album. Yeah, that's their... I mean, I, I like some of their newer albums, but I think that's their last like really great album. Also, worship, music in, worship Music wasn't bad, but like... But I, I, honestly, I think Persistence of Time is a better than even like there are some of their even like more revered albums. Oh shit! They're fucking invisible enemies now. Yeah, that is a thing. Remember that invisibility that 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 cloak shield that I got? Yeah, they can use that too. And they will use that w in conjunction with the uh, the energy sword. Yeah, and fucking <laughs> one shot you. And at least you can see the sword, so you can usually see that coming. That, that that there's an invisibility on the ground right there if you want it. Right there, that triangle. Oh. Yeah, I can kind of see you. Somebody messaged me. But yeah, I found a copy of Persistence of Time on uh, tape, and I was like, fuck yeah. And God, that is a good album. I do not understand oh, why yeah. some people just can't can't jive with Anthrax. Like, what's wrong with you? That, yeah, I know. Like, <laughs> they're like a like a, they're like a punchline, or like just people were just shitting on them for a long time for some reason. Like, yeah, I don't like. I don't, have, I don't... You, have you not heard their first five albums or so? Yeah, they're really. all fucking great. <laughs> Even their debut's not, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of their first album, but even that's still not that bad. Yeah, it, it's not thrash metal. It's like, it's like new wave of British heavy metal kind of thing. Yeah. So everyone always like gives them shit like, oh, they shouldn't even be in the big four of thrash metal, and it should be Exodus or Testament. Which is a fundamental misunderstanding of what it means to be in the Big Four. It's not about how good of a band some people perceive you to be. It's purely album sales. And Anthrax sold more than Testament and whatever. Yeah. Uh, I even saw people... I used to see people uh, say that like Pantera should be the band and not Anthrax. Even though Pantera is literally not thrash metal. Yeah. Pantera it's like, is like it's like groove metal. Yeah, I was gonna say they're groove. groove. Which nothing wrong with groove. Like go listen to fucking White Zombies, Lost Exorcist, or Devil Music Volume One. That album kicks fucking ass. That is badass groove metal. Is what that is. But I also found a couple of Aussie albums.
Uh, what, uh, like Diary or Blizzard? Oh, I already own those. Um, oh, No Rest for the Wicked. No, yeah, I was about to say. And uh, uh, The Ultimate Sin. The Ultimate Sin? Which I do not get why Ozzy doesn't like that one. That album is awesome. Yeah. Thank God for the bomb. It's so fucking good. Thank God for the bomb. And, and like, Killer yeah. of Giants. F- fucking awesome. Yeah, he has a lot of, like, underrated songs. Because everyone always goes to, like, Crazy Train and Blizzard of Oz songs, obviously. But, like, he has an entire discography of good, like, uh, underrated stuff. Yeah, another thing. While I'm saying I don't understand why people throw hate at Anthrax, I don't understand why people throw hate at uh, the Zack Wilde era. Especially those first two Zack Wilde albums. Uh, uh, no Rest for the Wicked and... Um, uh, no More Tears. No More Tears is fucking phenomenal. That is just a stellar metal album. Yeah. why they call me Mr. Tinker Train. It's fucking great. Even Osmosis. Yeah, osmosis is pretty good. <laughs> I, I dig Osmosis weird. quite a bit. Like That was the very first Aussie album that I actually owned. So I like Osmosis a lot. Because the, the mid-90s was a weird era for metal bands, so... Yeah, remember that album that Massacre put out in the mid '90s? <laughs> what the fuck was what that? What was that? Uh, promise. Uh, yeah, is promise what, is what it was called. <laughs> Fucking like, oh, such a weird time. They, they were trying to be Pantera. That's what they were trying to do. <laughs> and Massacre has no business trying to be Pantera. Just straight up. There was another band. Um... Oh, yeah, Entombed with Wolverine Blues. Yeah, they kind of dropped off after, like, the first two. Uh, the Napalm Death was going in a weird uh, area in the mid-90s. They got themselves onto the Mortal Kombat uh, <laughs> it was just, it was soundtrack, weird. though, so... A twist a Knife, or Slowly, or whatever it's called. Yeah, Twist a Knife. I have that album. Yeah, that's not a bad album. That's when they started the uh, really change, and then... There was like diatribes in '96, and uh, yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't really remember the other ones, but oh, but I guess a lot of the even Exodus was weird in the mid '90s. Yeah, a, a lot of it was. Much all like, of them, all of them. There were still a lot of like uh, Anthrax uh, kind of went, but like no, oh, Anthrax is really weird in but the '90s. I really like Sound of White Noise. <laughs> I really Sounds, like Sound yeah. of White Noise. Sound of White Noise, is, I think that's really underrated for what it is. I mean, even though uh, Joey's not on the album, it's like it's still a good-ass yeah, album. John Bush is on the album. And don't get me wrong. I like John Bush as a vocalist. Go fucking listen to Armored Saint. They're awesome. Go listen to, like, Raising Fear or something by Ar- Armored Saint. It's good stuff. But yeah. uh, he was never a great choice for Anthrax. Yeah, I mean, especially for the older songs. Yeah, he does. Yeah, you listen to him singing the Joey stuff. He just he just does not sound right. Yeah, but like for the stuff that uh, they were putting out in like the mid '90s, it was pretty dope. I mean, it was a di- it was different from what they were doing in the '80s, but it was still really good. Yeah, I, I, I will stand fucking sound of white noise all day long. That album is great. There's room for one more Black Lodge uh, uh, only. Oh. Like you had taken things out of my so yeah. only kicks ass. Uh, it's a good song. Yeah, room for one more is great. High pro glow. Yeah. You got that one I wanna know. You got that uh, that high pro glow. I don't remember how the the lyrics exactly. And the song where it's um where it's like a comical composition or whatever. I, I always forget what that song is actually called, but. That's not, that's a good one too. What was the other song called off that? Uh, 
cowboy song. I always remember the cowboy song. I like in that, but. But yeah, but then after st uh, st uh, then after the sound of white noise, it just it kind of dropped off pretty bad. Yeah, it, it, they weren't nearly as good after <laughs> sound of white noise. They got it back to an extent when they got Joey back. Like, yeah, worship music is pretty good, and Four All Kings is pretty good. I re yeah, yeah, I really liked worship when it came out. Like yeah, they're really not, and the 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 uh, crawl EP w with all the covers on it. Yeah, it's got the the uh, uh, anime titties for the one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> which you never expect to see an anthrax on with anime titties on it I'm, I'm so much of a weeb that i even know what like the template was for the girl on the cover i actually know the character that was this goes to show yeah I, oh yeah uh, like did it it's yeah i, I couldn't tell you this but it, yeah it's i mean that's a good thing but yeah, there's yeah the, the, yeah because i did that with like uh how many covers? There's like what four covers or something, and they yeah, all I got the one, yeah, like... I got the one that was modeled after the song "Anthem" by Rush. Yeah, because they did like an ACDC and uh, it's uh, been a TNT, long time. TNT, I think, was the ACDC yeah, cover. Yeah, yeah. That, and then they did. Uh, they had a cover of "Anthem" by Rush, and Rush cannot be easy to cover because Rush is stupid talented. Yeah, Frankie Bello had to they really uh, play on that one, that's for sure. Yeah. The, the uh, bass player. And, and you got that relatively complex drum. Like, like Neil, Neil Peart is a fucking drum god. And I'm... And... Uh, don't get me wrong, Charlie's a good drummer. He's not sure. Neil Peart. <laughs> yeah. I love how the second... Uh... Oh, wow, he went down fast because I managed to get behind him. Uh, the, the second... Wow. Uh... The second uh, Stormtroopers of Death album just has a song. It's all. It's just entirely about how fast Charlie can drum. <laughs> oh yeah, Charlie don't cheat. Yeah, Charlie yeah. don't cheat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. I fuck man. I wish we could get more of that oh. band. I really do. Yeah, because I mean, I mean, you can't you can't go wrong with their first album. That was that's some kick ass fucking crossover hardcore yeah. crossover. God, that first album is great. Real shit, Invisible Enemy. Here's the thing about the Invisible Ones, though. They are easier to kill because they don't have the shields. Yeah. Oh, true. shit, that's you. Oh, too. <laughs> I did not mean to shoot <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for recharging health. Yeah, and then I got, and then I got a couple of other... Um, I got a tape copy of uh, Physical Graffiti, and if you like Led Zeppelin, Physical Graffiti should be in your music collection. It's great. You know, I, I actually s just started like listening through their discography, and yeah, that, that's a good ass album. Yeah, it really is. Like, I actually like I, I really like Presence and um, uh, this this uh, second to last album, like in the outdoor, whatever it's called. Yeah, with in the evening on it. Yeah. I like I like I'm gonna crawl. That's one of my favorite songs off of it. Uh, my two favorites from them are the uh, their second album, Led Zeppelin Two. Yeah. And uh, Physical Graffiti. Those are my two favorites. I fucking adore both of those albums. I mean, I don't think Led Zeppelin ever put out anything to just flat out bad. Yeah, even uh, Coda's not that bad. Yeah, Coda's it's, kind it's just, of forgettable, but... It's just, yeah, I was about to say, yeah, it's kind of forgettable. It, it kind of seems like they were trying to, like, be their, like, older selves, like, musically. It was, if I remember right, Coda is mostly made up of uh, stuff that was cut from previous albums. Oh, really? So it's, oh, like, all the stuff that. that wasn't good enough to be on previous albums, I think, is what it was. 
which kind of explains why it's, <laughs> it's not, not as yeah. good. <laughs> but yeah, th- their last one in through the outdoor is very very good. They they went out on a high note with that one. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, because yeah, there's two heads off of that one. In the evening, and like a, uh, what was the other one? Uh, all, all my love, I think. Uh, all yes, yeah, all of my is love it? to yeah. you. It's such a good song. And then I got uh, Rush, their their Chronicles, which is I don't necessarily need that album. It's a greatest hits thing, but it's a really really good greatest hits compilation album. Over two hours of Rush, and it goes in order of release, and it includes their live albums. Oh damn! So it, it just it, it, like if you want a crash course in why Rush is such a good band. That's the one to get. See, I, I like any band where like the bass is like the main instrument. So, well, yeah, Rush is very big <laughs> on that because uh, Jetty Lee's a very, very talented bassist. Well, every single member of Rush is like super yeah. fucking talented. You, you, when you find these guys just sitting around, you can just like rock up to them and just yeah. smack them with your gun kind of fun. See how many of them you can get before they wake up. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's got a sword, so want to watch out for him. Because that sword will one-shot you. Even when your shield's full. Is this a... Uh, I thought it was like a terminal or something. Oh, it is a terminal. Oh, it is? I thought it was. We'll find out what that force is later. If you don't already know. Looks like uh, what's his face from Portal Two. Um, <laughs> Can't remember his name. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I thought that was a... Oh, there's someone shooting over there. I thought that was a, uh, a a terminal. I was right. I was, I was playing on the, uh, the original textures and it doesn't even show up as a terminal. And I, I was like, why? There's, there's no terminal here. Like, oh, never mind. I gotta switch over. Yeah. Yeah, they're not there in the original game, so they're not there with the original textures. If you want to get them, you have to play the modern ones. 
But that's fine by me. I really like the look of the modern ones. Yeah. There's some fans who don't, and that's fine. But I love the look, of, and I love the improved sound too, because with the with those textures. Yeah. Where are? Yeah, I'm, 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 oh yeah, I'm just I just got done with watching the terminal thing. Oh. But I'm just like I I keep wanting to play on the original textures just because I never played the original game, so I kind of want to like see how the original game like looked like in its like original form. Yeah. I, I guess I didn't like. <laughs> I've beaten it on Even like it's... for my playthrough for my review. I beat it on the original Xbox. I mean, it, it is tempting to play on the enhanced graphics because it does look a lot better and adds to like the atmosphere and stuff. But yeah. Boy, the Covenant sure do love the color purple. I yeah, wonder no if kidding. they love the movie, The Color Purple. I've never seen it. I I've never seen it either. I just know it's a film that exists. Yeah. I, mean, I always heard it was a good movie, but... Oh my god, he just bitch slapped me. And me. And killed me. And killed me. Dude, he got <laughs> us both. <laughs> Jesus. With these guys, there's the little notch in their shields. That's where you want to aim for. If you're if you're trying to get them with a sniper rifle or a oh. shot or something. Fuck. Jesus Christ. He got me. Oh shit! Yeah, the, some OP bullshit right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, they can one shot <laughs> you. I, I told you. God damn! You actually get to use that sword in the second game, so we'll eventually get around to that. Oh, I thought, oh, I thought you'd use it in this game. Unfortunately, oh. no. <laughs> Let me see if I can back up and, and like. Okay, there you go. Oh shit! No, hit me! Oh shit! <laughs> no! God damn it! I got him. Oh my god, he's dead. Okay, there you respawned. Okay, let's let's go back in there. <laughs> the, the motherfucker even like jumps towards you. Yep, they'll do that. What the fuck! God damn. I saw this one video that was uh, one of them dying with, while while he was in midair, like, leaping. God. And someone had edited it, and, like, it caused his body to, like, twirl in midair. And someone had edited I Am the Senate into it. <laughs> I Am the Senate. <laughs> Because that he says I am the Senate and he jumps out of his chair and does that twirl in midair. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was just I am the Senate, autistic screeching. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name of the game. Yeah. Is this the last level you want to do, or do you want to do some more after this? Because you seem like you're getting kind of tired. Yeah. I, mean, I guess we can probably call it after after this cutscene. Well, let's finish this level over. off. Oh, it's not over? No. Uh, oh, the, oh. We, now that we got him, we need to escape the... Uh, oh, okay. I was kind of assumed it was over after the cutscene plays. Yeah. 
And they all kind of pick up Covenant weapons. Shut up and get behind me, sir. <laughs> yeah, the the level continues on for a little bit after this. As we try to escape. I I almost walked right into that guy. <laughs> I like, how, I like how the NPCs walk up to, like, corpses and shoot them. <laughs> and get all angry at them. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that great? <laughs> you bastard! L little details like that are uh, things that I love about the first five or six levels of this game. And then it, I just... It gets really, really annoying after that. But the story's cool. Oh, wait, that's where I came from. Almost out of ammo, shit. Okay, which way do we go? Which way do we go, George? Which way do we go? It looks like a dead end, so I'm not sure if that's... No, no. There's the terminal again. Um, oh, they're pouring in from over here, aren't they? Oh, shit. Yeah, invisible plus the sword. Yeah, fuck that noise. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I don't remember where the skull is in this one. Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In case you were wondering just how big of an influence Aliens has on this game. Yeah, like StarCraft, this has numerous points where it just directly quotes aliens. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? I just teleported. Yeah, yeah. That was weird. I think if you get to a certain point, like, if, if one of the players gets to a certain point, it does that. I'm not used to that, so... Yeah, it happened to me a couple of times near the beginning. Okay, so this should be the end of the level. We get in one of these and we fly out of it. Up oh, here comes a couple of uh, hunters. There we go. That's one way of doing it. Isn't that great? <laughs> <laughs> Silent Cartographer. This is one of the best levels of the game.
We'll play it next time, though. All right, thank you everybody for watching this episode of Let's Play Halo Combat Evolved. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video, it would help us out a lot. We will talk to you guys next time. Bye, everybody. See ya.